Hi everyone, welcome to this video. So today I'm really, really excited because a package arrived today. I had no idea what it was at first. I was like, what have I ordered now? I honestly couldn't remember. Um, partially because I was not expecting these to turn up as quickly as they did. Um, because I have these amazing Pop Mart Care Bear like little keyring plushies. Um, really excited to open and have a look at these. Um, these got released really not too long ago, maybe a week or two ago on the Popmart website. They were also on AliExpress, but for more money, so I just bought them directly from Popmart. Um, I had a, like a $5 sort of voucher off, so it was a little bit cheaper. Um, and I decided to buy the full set because I wanted all six of them. So as you can see, these are all the characters here. I'm not sure right now if I'm going to keep all of them. I definitely want a uh, Cheer Bear and Tender Heart. Grumpy and probably Share Bear. The two middle ones aren't really my favourite Care Bear characters because I'm not a fan of like the colours yellow and green. Um, but I'll have a look at them. I will sort of decide afterwards. But I thought I may as well just kind of get the full set. Um, I can't remember exactly how much it was. I want to say it was around £60. So kind of around like £10 for each one. Uh, but they look absolutely adorable. They're scented. They're plushies. Um, and I, yeah, I just love Care Bears. They're so happy and colourful and I love bears in general. Um, so let's get straight into actually opening this up. Now, I will be honest, I have actually opened all the boxes, um, but it's just because I wanted to check if I had the rare one, which I can confirm I do not. And honestly, I'm glad about that because the rare is, um, I think it's Love A Lot Bear, which I love Love A Lot Bear, so cute. I love the pale pink, but it's in kind of a bunny costume and I'm just not really a fan of that. For some reason, I don't really like things that are themed upon an animal in another animal's costume it's like it's wearing someone else's skin or something it just it's not really my cup of tea so i wanted to just definitely check that uh, before i did the video and that's awesome so then i have the full set here all six of the original ones the blind bags are still unopened um so yeah i didn't actually look at the actual bears yeah i just wanted to check if i had the rare one um and yeah honestly glad i didn't i mean i probably would have sold it if i had it so you know better it goes to someone who really wants it so here are the boxes so it says unlock the magic and it says cheer bear on the front here and then shows all the other ones on the side so this is the one with bunny ears which is the kind of ultra rare or the secret one that they call it and just all the other characters as well yeah and it's just called a plush pendant blind box so without further ado let's start to have a look because i'm so excited to see what these look like I was really lucky to get these as well because I think they sold out pretty quickly. I saw them on Instagram that they were coming out um, and on the day, um, I think I bought them quite early in the morning, I saw that they'd been released and I was I was actually going to leave it till later that day and I'm really glad I didn't because they I think they were sold out literally by the evening so it's good I got them when I thought about it. Um, but yeah, so the first one is Funshine Bear. So these do come with a collector's cards as well. So I'll have to see if I do want to keep this one. Like I said, not normally my favourite character, but so excited to see them. I might, I might fall in love with all of them if they're all super cute. Oh my God, it looks so fluffy. In terms of the scent, oh. It smells like lemon. It smells like washing up sort of liquid or like in a nice smell, like a clean smell. It smells like cleaning products. I wonder if it's meant to be lemon because it's yellow. That would kind of make sense. There you go. Oh my gosh. Oh my life. You know, I don't think I'm going to be able to give any of these up. I kind of mentioned to one of my friends because I know she wanted to kind of get one. And I was like, oh, maybe, like, I can't guarantee you, but maybe you might have one spare. But oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look how small they are. This whole box, by the way, I don't know if I said this, surprised me at how small it was when it came. I don't know why I was expecting it to be bigger, but it just shows kind of how small these plushies are. So they're kind of like a little bit bigger than palm size, I suppose, if you're including the legs and stuff. Look at that, really kind of tiny. Nice little keyring as well. This nice quality clasp here, this gold clasp. And yeah, the scent is quite strong. Um, it's quite nice. It's like I said, it smells kind of like cleaning products to me, so it's not the nicest scent. It would have been nicer if it smelled more like, I don't know, more of a lemon sherbet sweet or something. But this is adorable, so I love its little face. It's got its tongue out. It's got the sun. Yeah, I've got a feeling I'm going to have to keep all of these, but hopefully they restock them. I really hope they do so that more people can get them because they sold out really quickly. And, it, you know, I know a few people that kind of missed out. So adorable, and they've got the little heart on the back and all little heart on the hearts on the feet. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's so soft as well. The material is very nice. It's very fluffy. I love this kind of fluffy texture. So cute. So that is Funshine Bear. 
And I mean, I love that one. If that's gonna be my least favorite, I'm so excited to see the other ones. So let's look in the next one here then. So the next one is Share Bear. So this one is also not one of my favorite kind of Care Bears either, just because again, the purple I'm not huge on, but I still like it. I don't have like too many purple toys and stuff. So it's nice to have some purple as well. Have a look at this little one. Oh my gosh, this has got a strong smell. So this has been slightly flattened in the packet. So let's sort out its little hair. I love that they've got these little tufts on top of their head. This one has the derpiest little face I've seen in my life. It's so cute, it looks so derpy. And I've just realized these have got movable arms. I remember seeing in the pictures, I did wonder about this, that some of them had their arms up and I was like, how has that happened? So it feels like they've got wires so you can pose them. It's kind of difficult, it's not super holding its shape. There we go, kind of like that. The legs don't, the legs are just very kind of floppy, but the arms, you can move those around slightly. Very, very cute. I love this design on the belly, that's so nice. Its face looks really funny, <laughs> it looks kind of cheeky, but that is adorable. And the scent, hmm, I mean I would have gone with like lavender for purple. Again, it smells a bit clean in product D, I'll be honest, if you're someone who's not into scent, you might not really like these. I mean, they're not super strong, if I hold it here, I can't really smell it, it's only when you go up close, but when it is close, it smells very strong, it does smell like a cleaning product. Um, yeah, it smells more like, it just reminds me of like washing detergent or washing powder, like, it smells like clean clothes, which is a nice smell, but it would have been nicer if they were more like sweets, like this could have smelled like lollipops or um, grape scented. Oh my God, I love grape scents, that would have been awesome. And then it has a tiny little tail. These are really cute, the ears are slightly misaligned, like that one looks massive and that one looks a bit smaller, but they're kind of adorable and like, they, they look a little bit like not perfect, but they're kind of cute because of that. I actually love these so much, they are making my day. <laughs> so let's have a look at the next one. So this is Good Luck Bear, so this is gonna be another one that probably one of my sort of less favorite characters, at least the last three will be like some of my favorite Care Bears ever. So you'll notice I have all the Care Bears behind me, so actually the ones I've opened so far, I don't have any of those in kind of the bigger plushies. I have got one purple one, but I think it's Friendship Bear, not Share Bear. It's a slightly different purple. I kind of got it in the two pack and I really like that one actually. So let's have a look at Good Luck Bear. Little feet, I love the little feet sticking out. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I like its little mouth expression. That's really cute. And this clover is really nice. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think I'm giving any of these up. I'm sorry <laughs> if anybody wanted some off me. I am sorry, but they are so adorable. It's gonna look really cute to have the full set as well. So there's a slight defect here. You can see a little bit of uh, stitching's loose, but that's fine because with a little pair of scissors, I'll be able to just carefully snip that off. I love that their noses are hearts though. I think in general plushies must be harder to make than like figures because a lot of figures are just like plastic or one material. With this you've got the stitching, you've got the different sort of fabric, you've got the actual stuffing inside. So I feel like these are probably, you know, because they're a similar sort of price. For example, when I bought all of the uh, Mamiji ones, I'll link that down below if you're interested. And I bought that from Potmart, all of the Mamiji, what were they called? Perfect Partners or something like that. And I got the rare in that one, which was amazing. Um, and those are pretty flawless, but these feel a bit more like they're gonna vary a little bit, like not necessarily defects, but um, just a little bit, you know, sort of imperfections and stuff. And I think it is because they're at a similar price point yeah, still really nice quality to be fair. So it's nice that they kept it a similar sort of price. Another thing I should mention is this actually can be removed, which I like that. There's a little lobster class, so you could take that off. So you could hook them somewhere if you just bought one and wanted it on a bag maybe. Um, or like me, I'm gonna find somewhere really cute to display them. So this scent, hmm. This one smells more of a masculine scent to me, almost like, you know, like a um, aftershave kind of thing. That's weird, yeah, these scents, I'm not loving the scents, they're not unpleasant by any means, but they smell not what I was expecting. I really did think they were gonna kind of smell sweet or something. Yeah, it does, it kind of smells like, again, like a little bit like linen, like kind of washing powder and also more masculine, like some sort of aftershave kind of men's perfume or, you know, aimed at men kind of perfume type thing. Um, but yeah, so adorable. I will sort out the little kind of nose loose um, thread, but I love its little face, so cute. So let's go for this one next. And this one is Tender Heart Bear. 
This is definitely one of my favorites. I think this is one of the main ones, Tender Heart Bear. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> it looks kind of derpy again. Some of these have really weird faces, but it's really adorable. I love the little tufty hair. This one's got a lot more hair up there, actually. And a big heart on its belly. These remind me a little bit of the world's smallest ones. I mean, if I just compare them, so here is my cheer bear of the world's smallest and then comparing to these. So you can see obviously these are probably about twice the size. They're much fluffier. I think they're honestly cuter. I mean, I love the world's smallest, but I think these are really, really adorable. Their faces have got a bit more character to them and stuff, but they kind of remind me of them a little bit. Now this one has a nicer scent actually. Oh, how would I, these are really hard to describe. I'm almost getting a bit of coconut. It smells a bit more summery, this one. These smell, they don't smell like scented toys. They smell more like um, adult things. That sounds weird. Um, but by that, I mean, you know, for example, if you have nom noms, they smell like actually like kind of food and kind of cutesy and they're more like child aimed. These, are maybe because they're kind of more adult uh, collectibles because it's Pop Mart and they're more like designer toys. They actually smell more like mature in a way. So this one smells like sort of a body mist mixed with like pineapple, coconut. It smells very sort of summery or almost like, what is that drink, that cocktail, like pina colada or something? It actually smells like that. I quite like this scent because I love like pineapple sort of coconut -y scents. It smells very summery, but yeah, these all smell like they could be like mists or like um, cleaning products or like adult things. I don't know if that's making any sense. Yeah, if you're expecting something like sweets and kind of like really cutesy scents, it's not really like that. They smell more sophisticated, I suppose, but. I'm liking that one. That's my favourite scent so far, I think. So yeah, that is Tender Heart Bear. I'm definitely gonna have to take a photo on my Instagram of all of these because they are so adorable. <laughs> so here is the second to last one. And this one is Grumpy Bear. Oh, I'm really excited for Grumpy Bear because he obviously has a very unique expression. They're all very, very happy. And then this one's always so moody. <laughs> oh, I love that blue. That blue is so nice. Here he is. Oh, he's adorable. So he's got his obviously signature little rain cloud. His face is so grumpy and sad. And his tufty hair at the top. So this one smells a bit masculine again. And by that, I just mean like those sort of masculine sort of aftershave things. Maybe because he is more of a masculine color, like stereotypically green and blue. Yeah, that really does, it just smells a bit like a man's aftershave. Um, if anybody else has any of these, I'd like you to kind of let me know what you think because they are just nothing like what I was expecting. I mean, on the website and on kind of the page, they were like, oh, they're scented, but they never kind of mentioned how, and it's just really weird. But I mean, it, it's nice enough. It's just, yeah, not what I was kind of thinking because they're so cutesy and these just, it's kind of just smells like a man. <laughs> so weird. And then, this last one, I've forgotten who it is. Oh, Cheer Bear, Cheer Bear is the last one. Oh, such a pretty pink, I love this color. Oh, she's so cute, oh my gosh. So I like that she has eyelashes. So it was this one and um, Cher Bear that had the little eyelashes. Are they the girl, only girl ones then? I'm guessing all the others are boys. I kind of thought Tender Heart was a girl, but maybe that's just my bad. So cute, so we've got the little rainbow, her little smirk. So I should guess what she smells like, because at the moment I can't really smell anything, unless I maybe waft her around. Um, I mean, because she's pink, so she should smell more like kind of sweeter things. I'm guessing something more feminine, like maybe floral, or I would scent her like strawberry, probably, but let's see. Oh, something is more fruity with this one, actually. It does, it smells more like a fruity body mist. So this might be one of my favorite scents as well. This is quite nice. This does smell more like what I expected them to smell. It smells more like almost like a bit of candy floss, a bit fruity. I wonder if there, cause there's nowhere written kind of saying what scents they're meant to be. I can't see anything on the cards. I wish it kind of said what the scent was so that I could actually, you know, understand it rather than guessing. But they are all different. So they're all unique scents. Um, and it is weird that the blue and green ones smell more masculine. Um, you know, we've had toys like Whiffies that have come out that have got really good, like nice food scents. I love toys that actually smell like of like sweets and stuff like that. And then some of the Nom Nom snackables were amazing for that. Yeah, I absolutely love them. They are adorable. So I'm gonna finish up the video there because it's already mega long. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Um, it's uh, Nadie's Kawaii Corner. I'll be posting some pictures of these soon after the video is up. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.